I think I'm not the only one when I say that working can be hard with your Facebook or Twitter timeline in front of you. At the start of each working day, I turn on my laptop, I make myself some coffee, I write down a to-do list, I open my web browser and I start to read my email. So far, so good. But at this point, things start to become problematic. I start to procrastinate. For one, there's the constant news feed of the newspapers, my friends, or the daily blogs full of gems. Many of these things are so interesting, fascinating, beautiful, or hilarious, that it's hard not to linger on for hours. So the moment I start on an article that I absolutely must read, or a short movie that I really need to see, my phone demands my attention. While the morning passes, my to-do list patiently waits on my desk. My to-do list suffers from my curiosity. But once I have started working, finally, one of the blogs posts a documentary on Albert Einstein. Such a genius, I think. How come I know so little of this man? Every so often there comes a man who is able to see the universe in a totally new way. But I have to react to some tweets. And while I'm doing that, I can listen to some music that recently came out. And on Twitter, I can't help but to click on the link, amazing footage of a hummingbird filmed at 225 frames per second. And one of my Twitter followers is alerting me at this article. <laughs> on Wikipedia, I learn that deep sea squid inseminate their female counterparts by cutting them and injecting packages of sperm into the wound. So the woman in this article has actually been fucked in her mouth <laughs> by a squid. Voila. There's so much beauty to be found on the internet. There's so much more than cat movies and porn. For instance, there's an infinite amount of instructional videos. Everything you could possibly want to do is clearly explained in how-to movies. So you can be a plumber, a programmer, a dance hall dancer, or a fireman. Your life is feasible. Everything is possible. So you can build a robot. You can build a house. You can house. You can learn how to catch fish with your bare hands. You can learn how to drive a tank, or how to land a Boeing, or how to uh, be, become pregnant, or how to be happy in five easy steps. Also, you learn that there's a woman at the United Nations that has the task, if we would ever have extraterrestrial contact, to have contact with the aliens. <laughs> so you feel you should have this job. <laughs> then you learn about a human zoo near Paris. So there was, a, there was a zoo with actual human beings. So you could go there and watch the human beings. That was documented by none other than the Brothers Lumiere. And then you find out about Shanghaiing, that only 100 years ago, drunk men were kidnapped in tunnels under the city of Portland and would wake up on a ship as a sailor heading to Africa. You are an explorer. You feel like Marco Polo, Columbus, or Neil Armstrong. You're shocked to know that the lesser-known companion of Neil Armstrong peed his pants just before walking on the moon. <laughs> that gargling urine helps against a sore throat. How to, how to use your throat if you want to practice Mongolian throat singing. That in Mongolia, there's a huge statue of Genghis Khan, and that the desert nearby used to be a sea, so plenty of dinosaur fossils are there for the taking that dinosaurs can't be cloned like they did in Jurassic Park, but that this could be done with the woolly mammoth and the dodo. That the dodo should have been the sweetest animal on planet Earth. And that planet Earth is such a gorgeous place where such beauty is to be found. And you can find all of this out just by sitting in your chair. <laughs> so when you realize all this, how important is your to-do list really? Throw away all those to-do lists and surf the wonderful worlds of the web. <coughs> Surprise yourself with the amazing stuff that happened in history and share these with your friends. Let them feel the same wonder that you felt 
encountering all this beauty. Don't wait any longer. Start procrastinating. <laughs> Everything is amazing.